What's going on, y'all? Week four of the J. Raw Serato, Serato's Kitchen Residency. Yo, this is it. We, we're about done, but listen, this has been epic. This has been such a good time, like just hanging out, building with y'all, learning from y'all. Uh, I met a whole bunch of new dope producers. I already spoke to Serato and told them what we should be doing. And they know, you know what I'm saying? They know, but we're going to see. Is my man Trox out here? What up, kid? Yo, heard you up next week. You got next. That's what's up. Mo Captain, what's going on? Straight out of France. Who else is here? Doug Boogie, what up, family? Good to have you on here, man. What's up? Is that DB? What up, family? DB Aussie, y'all. Follow that guy. I'm telling you right now. So you can get all the gems. Man, hey, it's good. As we get people coming in, man, I'll just say what's up. And just, um, you know, I want to thank Serato. I want to thank OP. Big time, I want to thank OP. I want to thank um, uh, Mr. Sonny James, DJ Rhett Matic for even putting me on. Yo, Rhett Matic put me on to so much. Listen, Rhett, Rhett is the one who first told me to go to Twitter. <laughs> he was like, yo, you got to get on Twitter. Rhett Matic is the one who first told me, yo, go ahead and go to Serato. I was like, no, man, I ain't going to no Serato, man. I'm, I'm traditional. I'm old school, man. I do this the right way, man. I bring vinyl, you know, with my back hurting. <laughs> but you know what I learned a lot man and I'm so happy that uh, I'm on Serato and then uh, Rhett was like yo you gotta get on Serato Studio I got on Serato Studio and that just changed my life cause as you know I've been an Insonic ASR 10 guy for the years for years man listen yo I, I use the MP I use the SP404 but the, the ASR, just, it's just something about it, right? It was just something about it for me. And then, yeah, see, DB? Yeah, Rec got me into Fat Beats, too. Like, really going. You know what I'm saying? And um, But, yo, got on um, Serato Studio, and it's really just changed the game for me. So I want to thank Serato, all the Serato execs, all the engineers who do this. You know, I got, I got one word for y'all, 3.0. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you know what that is, then you know what that is. If you don't know what that is, whew, you will soon. And that's all I'm going to say. 3.0 is going to change the game. But, um, yo, man, this has been great. It's been so good rocking with y'all. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed um, just building with you guys. You know, just kind of um, sharing some stuff and learning from you as well. So that's been really great. So, Yo, we're going to go ahead and get ready to get into it, man, if we can. Let me see, man. What else y'all What else y'all saying, man? Who else is on here? Oh, is that Gons? Yo, Gons, last week's winner. He probably didn't want a whole bunch of weeks, real talk. <clears throat> yeah, man. Um, Who else is there? Who else is on here? What up, Nate Diggs? What's going on? DJ Stoivo, he said, can we turn the mic up? I bet you they did. I bet you they heard you. <laughs> a chick with beats. What up? What up? How you doing? Michael Cooper, I think that's uh, what week week two or week one's winner. What's going on? Yeah, Trox, it's definitely going to be a game changer, bro. Real talk. All right. So how many of y'all got to really listen to and kind of kind of just kind of take in week uh, week four sample? Week four sample is nothing nice. It's like, ugh, like something crazy, right? A little, a little different, right? I mean, and really, and really, and truly, week four sample is something I would play when I'm DJing out. Like I could just play that, you know what I'm saying? Let it go. But um, all right. So I'm gonna play this joint, man, and y'all just kind of sit with it with me, and let's uh, let's enjoy the music. Let's see if I can figure out what the heck I'm doing. Get it. We'll just play it through iTunes or Apple Music, whatever they are call it. Now feel this, y'all. Feel this.
See, now feel that. You can do that dance to it, right? So even Gon said this was a little challenging, right? But I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you what I do with something like this. Besides dance. There you go. This right here, boy, listen. Come on with the lies. What up, burnt CDs? Good to see you. I know what y'all was thinking when y'all heard this. There is a whole bunch going on in this, right? What y'all think when y'all heard this, man? Put it in the chat. Let me know. Yeah, guys, this is just a joint you just straight up play out. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Buena Vista Social Club. That's a good name for the beat. You heard Disco House when you first heard it? Okay, I ain't mad at that at all. At all. When I first heard it, I was like, yo, this just feels comfortable. And when I when I hear a beat that feels comfortable, I, I, I get an idea. I think I try to isolate, like, what is making me feel that comfort? Like, what makes me feel good? It makes me feel like a good home vibe. You know, it just it just feels right. And so when I hear something like that and I decide, yo, I'm going to like play with it or, or flip it or something. It's a couple of couple of different approaches. The first thing I do is I think about how do I want this beat to feel like? How does it make me feel and what is not there? Right. So this is just, yeah, they can't they can't get enough. Right. This is just like one of them kind of beats that really have. Um, and I'm just going to use the, the studio drum kit because y'all know how I always start my beats. The, don't nothing change. Nothing changes. I'm going to start with drums. And I think like what I'll do is, you know what? I think I'm going to start with a break because breaks kind of, they kind of fuel my fire. You know what I'm saying? stuff like that right but when i first heard that sample it put me like I, I figure out like what kind of tempo i'm feeling like where am i where am i kind of sitting with it right now i'm from i'm from the uh <laughs> get to sit by ross right i like that <laughs> yo like i'm sitting here and i'm thinking like where do i where do i feel it going and and um man you know, a lot of times I'm either on my house vibe or my hip hop vibe and I'm, I'm feeling kind of hip hoppy with this. Right. So I would I would take something like this and I think I want to just mess with some drums. Let's see, do I like those? You know what? No, I'm not going to start. I'm going to change that up.
And so I might start with these drums and I might keep them. I might not, you know, I don't know. But right now I kind of feel like I just want something simple. I like that, guys. That's a good idea, too. That's another way that you could approach it, right? So I'll start out with a beat sometimes that I don't always keep. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And see, even though I, I did that with them, with those hi-hats, I probably wouldn't keep them because I like my hi-hats to, I like my hi-hats to, like, to move. And I think I talked about that like maybe the first week. I always put a little swing on it, just some type of little, you know, something from a, a studio. You know what I'm saying? Gives me an Akai feel, right? Okay, so I want to play with it, and I told y'all how I do, oh yeah, command S, <laughs> let's get our save on, boom, good looking y'all, see that's why I appreciate y'all man, I like y'all in here man, good looking, all right, so. And I already tell you, I like that. Listen to that. Listen to that. And then our favorite ones that I like, right? I just pick them straight from Serato. I might adjust it a little bit, you know, let studio see what they pick. I want to move a lot of these. So I'm going to trash them and start it over. And just kind of listen and hit some points. Yo, Control S is definitely a t-shirt. Who's going to who's gonna start it? Tell Serato to start it. Let's go, OP. Get it going. All right. Let's play with it a little bit.
See, you hear the unorthodox, how that feels. And sometimes, man, I, I call it like just playing, playing with it, or I just call it like playing happy. I'll just play stuff and find something that just doesn't even exist. I just... See, and that and that's exactly what y'all say, man. Just enjoying the process, just having fun. Like this is the part where you just you playing stuff and you 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 like playing your instrument. You just this is the chopping up process. There's never there's never no, there's no like yo set way to do it. Like yo, you got to do one, two, three. There's never a set process. What you should do is get in there and just enjoy it, man. Just the process. Yo, it's the happy feelings and chopping up beats, man. And it's also how you hit the pads. Y'all ever notice that? Like how you hit the pads can change the feeling of it. And then you start figuring out a pattern. It's just, you just working on it. You making something and, and it's just. Oh, I like all of these. <laughs> I'm going to save these because I don't want to lose them. They feeling kind of good to me. And I, and I can just, I, I feel something. I told y'all it's always about feeling, right? It's what you feel. So it's, it's what feels good is what I roll with, you know, and I'm sure most of y'all do too. After listening to some of these beats these last three weeks, I know that's what most of y'all do. And let me hit the command S. It will be control S if you're using the PC, right? So we, maybe we got to have a double T-shirt. Command S, Control S, right? Is that what it is? Yo, man. We're going to have this merch on lock. <laughs> All right. Man, does that ever happen to y'all where you hit it and it don't, it, the sound doesn't come? I don't know what I'm doing when that happens. I'm going to try it again. So what I'll do is do it, play with it, and then feel what feels right. Mm. 
See, that feel good to me. Let's, let's go. What up, JB Swift? So, if I'm listening, this last one here, I don't want it to go up. I want, it, I need it to go back down. So I'm gonna take that out. Come back down here. Maybe it might be one of these, but I don't want to repeat. I'll extend this out just to see what it does. That's it. Trox Beats is in the building. What up, boy? Test it. See if it, if it got my head doing that. If it got my head doing that, then I know I like it. Woo. So, this is what I was telling y'all. When I pick a beat like this, Command S. When I pick a beat like this, I do it for, for really one reason. When I heard this, I know y'all hear it too, but what's the thing that stands out in this? Now y'all feeling me. reason I picked this. I can't wait to hear y'all's beats this week. Let's see who found that bass line. Hey. Woo. But I'm going to get to that in a second. So when I hear something like that, I really know that I want to have some sort of, um, I need the percussion, right? I mean, that's what it is, right? And, and I can, I can get the percussion from all the, all the different things from Serato, you know, everybody got the cool kits and whatnot, but there's something about that record. It's something about finding that right record, right? That one that you'd be like, Ooh, and I think that's what I'm looking for. So. See, I always look for some for for some old Brazilian record, you know, from the 60s or 70s with just that feel, that vibe. Woo! So, let's check it out and see what's in here. Oh yeah.
So I don't really like that that part right there. But I like all this other stuff here. So that's what I'll, I'll figure out how to get just the part I want. The part that feels good. So then I'll just play around and see if I can get it to fit. Y'all see where I'm going with it. of chopping right it's about let me see if I can figure it out the art of chopping is knowing where the chops fall, should fall into your sample. So see if you can peep what I'm doing right now. got to give it some kind of swing, right? And then I want to turn it down a little bit, filter it down some. Doug Boogie, you know what it is, fam. And it's about finding the right volume for the things that you put in to your pot, right? Because when you're cooking, you know you know the right ingredients. You got to know the right amount. And there's nothing different from when you're making beats. You got to know the right amount of ingredients to add to your beat to give it what you want. And so that's what I'm working on right now. Let's see what we got. Y'all know me, man. Well, some of y'all might not. <laughs> but I like old sounding drums. Like, I like breaks. I like my drums to sound like it came off of an old 1970s record, right? And so those drums that I got in there, these studio drums are real nice. They're real clean, right? And they provide a good background. And I probably would keep them in to do that, to have that oomph, right? Because in 2022, you got to have, you got to shake the speaker a little bit. But... 
that I can't have that be my only joint. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. I'm going to play around with a couple breaks if that's okay with y'all, man, if we got time. Y'all all right with that? Let's get it. Trox, man, can't wait to see you next week. You hear all that extra, all that percussion, all that stuff. It might be too much. It might clash. It might not. So what I'll do is I'll just try it, see what it feel like. If not, we find another break. For me, I always, always like starting with the snare. It's just, it's just who I am. So let's see what that feel like. And then to start it out, I can use my my first one. I want that snare to not be too, too loud, but I want it to be in there. So this has a nice, real, a little offbeat feel, which I like. Let me hit that save button. Y'all know what it is. What I do, I like that, right? Now we're gonna play around and find some of the pieces.
sometimes I like playing with it and just kind of seeing what different stuff does. <laughs> So that's sounding like it's, it can be a bridge to me. I just gotta figure out where it is. So like a. I love that. I love that. I might even, that might even be a chorus or something, you know? Boy, I like that. All right, experimentation time, y'all. Missed them vocals, Michael Cooper? Boy, my hitting game is crazy today. I'm off. Y'all got to get me on beat, man. Who listen to that drum right there, see? See, that feels, that feels kind of, that feels better, right? Just by itself. I hadn't stopped to listen to that, but that's what I like. That feel. You know, I don't even know what that's called. That ambiance, that do, 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 do. Like, I like my beats to have something in them. It's got something else in there. You're like, what is that? All right.
And sometimes I'll just hear something like right there. Hold up. Something is something right there. I just don't know where it's hitting. So I'm going to keep the one I got in there and play around with the start of it. Does that make sense? Play around with the, uh, I don't know, what's this called, OP? This part here, like with the start of the sample, like where the sample hits. So now I'm going to play with this start point just to play around with it. I don't quite know where I want it to hit and I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So I like... Okay, so... Now I get to show y'all something else that I do. <laughs> Yo, so. I don't want that second part to come in, this part with the green. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I just wanted to go. So what I'll do is I'll make. I'll make a section so that I can and I can take that and this is something I learned how to do with the ASR so I need to bring you back some so what I'm doing I'm going to echo it out and take that other piece out and fill the final part of that in. Man, I'm not using any technical terms, so <laughs> if anybody knows, I'm popping in, in the chat if you know what I'm doing. Most of y'all should because y'all are producers. Y'all know what it is. So I could probably bring this one back a little. So what I do is I play with my attack and my release. Of each so that it kind of fades out. It's too close. That fades out pretty well. I need it to come in a little softer. Hear that? Right? And so then what that, that hits too hard still. So I need to 
kill the attack son. So I'll show you what I'm trying to do. Play with it till you get it to sound smooth. play with the volume so when you want anytime you want a sample to to kind of do what it's not supposed to do you can always take the note before it and you can take that note and extend it um you can play with the attack and the release so that you're able to make it kind of sound like it just fades out and it just kind of goes out instead of playing that part that other piece that you don't want and that's something i learned just you know messing around with the asr 10 because I always had a sample that did something else and I didn't want it to. So I ended up taking a couple pieces and chopping it up and then playing with the attack and the release. And then you, you got control of the sample. That's what I'll be saying when I say control of the sample. <laughs> right. And so then it still sounds a little stiff. So what I'll do, of course, man, I ain't put no swing on it. A little swing always. And then what I'll do is I'll always take a... Um, it's the uh, the volume. It's the volume of these that you can play with to make it sound a certain way. So it's a lot of experimentation. I mean, sometimes I spend a half an hour just working on this little piece. like this. I like this a lot. Track live. I might be calling you on this one. I might have to go ahead and pay for this. Yo, is that my face on an emoji, Serato? <laughs> that can't be me. That's hard. Really, like, I'm about to spend a few minutes, and I probably shouldn't, but I am uh, on this, uh, on that, on that sample, because I really want that, that last part, this part over here, I want it to, um, yeah, <laughs> that is me, hey, that's hard, if y'all don't send that to me, so I can be cool like y'all, 
All right, let's play with it. Hey, hey. It's just about finding the right volume with it. Sometimes I'll filter it down to bring the highs down. Like that, something like that. Y'all feel like where we going with it? Adjusting it so you can get that part out. And now this part never plays. That. I never wanted, I didn't want that, that green part, so that's how I got rid of it. Alright. All T way, command S, let's go. some type of little chorus right and a lot of times I do this and it don't end up even being the chorus but I'm gonna mess with it like it's the chorus so hold up where do I want to go <laughs> always do that that's one of my bad habits i hit buttons while i still am record mode so right now i'm just kind of playing and experimenting and i don't know i'm just playing yeah okay i do know let's see Because this is chorus, I want to play around. That, woo, them two together. I'm 
something about how that hits. So this, like I said, might not be chorus. Might not be chorus. I'll just go back and call it scene three or something. Because something... Man, I like it. I agree. I agree, Serato. So we'll just play with it, pop it in just to see what it sounds like. Man, I even like that. Because y'all gotta remember, when this is all said and done, it's the bass line that's gonna be the, the kicker. Oh, we got some Raiders. Yo, peace, peace to the Raiders. Who brought them in? Man, man, listen, I don't know who that is, but what's up? <laughs> who is it? DJ Trico. Okay, okay, word. What up, what up? Yo, um, thank you for being in. My name is Jay Rawls, man. I'm, I'm making a beat or two. You know how we do. Gonna play with that. I don't know what that's gonna be yet, but I like it. That's one of them little pieces you could throw in there, right? And then just like pop it in later or something. But let me go back to my chorus. Something about that I like. I don't. Command S. Good looking the chick with beats. Hopefully he's got you moving like I'm moving, right? Get that neck moving. So at this point, I'm just listening, figuring out how my sequences will work together. And now I think I want to play with my filters. So this is where I go ahead and command S, right? But I'm going to duplicate this deck. And this second deck is going to become my, my filter. See, see, look, 
listen to how that feels. Come on, y'all. It's something about a filter. It just feels good. Woo! All of it works. Listen to that. Listen to that. On the low, I, I can... Give a little hint of what's under there, right? Sometimes I do that. I give you a little hint. volume down right on that one bring the volume kind of low on this one so the hint of the filter allows it to it gives you that mysterious vibe almost like what is that up under there right and then and I'll put some effects on that one sometimes you can even pan it what up cut corners in the Pete Rock and Diamond D, so I guess that makes sense, right? on there, right? And I always just like some type of delay or echo. Because it makes the sample move around. Man. Command S. Didn't want that. Boom. This is what I want. Yeah, two more. Let's try that. And feel, and feel, feel how it moves around. be a little too much, right? That little bird ain't bad. Listen to that. Let's go over to something else.
Yeah, what is the, ba the breaker? See, that's beautiful, right? Listen to that. Woo! Oh, that's the record stop. Okay, like that. Like that. How's that feel to y'all, man? What's up? Somebody let me know. Y'all like that? Y'all like to filter lower? Or let a little bit of the sample get into the filter? You like the low, huh? Okay. If I lower it, I'm going to give a little bit more on this one then. down a little. Every time I check like a, a, a low, mid, high or whatever I'm messing with, I always exaggerate to see what it feels like, like if I did too much. And then I just, I fix it to taste. Burn CD. Hey. stuff in there. Oh, man. Where you at? I need you to come to the lab real quick. Let me record that. Look at that. Let me see. Um, oh. Delete that deck. Boy, I hope I ain't messing nothing up, boy. Be hitting that command S. We live, y'all.
Hey, hey. <laughs> Here's another in a special series. One, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, these John Robinson joints, though. <laughs> Yo. See, this is why you control save. So I would have to change this here. Boom and boom, boom, boom. So. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo.
So now what I did was yo, yo, I made a second sequence that doesn't go do the yo. Right, to give it some depth, a little range of motion, range of feel. Now who knows, maybe that's the chorus. Command S. bring that la 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 out and let the whole thing play because i keep wanting to hear that right i think it's i don't know if it's just me or what You see what I just did? So I extended it so that the last part of it doesn't end with it. Or I'll probably flip that around real tall. Yeah, that is the chorus, ain't it? And then we go back. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's get it. Hey, yo. Okay, I'll see what everybody telling me. Let's get it. That's the chorus. Hey. And then we got a little bridge too, right? make a copy of this since it's called intro I'll just leave it as intro but I'd make a copy of this Double it because this is gonna just be a change, right? Just a change in your in your sequences. So I'd probably have like take that out, that out, that out, go here, take that out, that out, and come back right there. Let's listen, see what it sounds like. <laughs> Let's 
go to our chorus. Come on. Oh yeah, that feel good. What y'all think? What y'all think, man? So, yo, are we ready to go to Discord? Because, like, I could sit here for another hour or two working on this one. So, I'm going to hit up Discord, but I am, woo, I'm going to finish this one. I really like it. All right, man, let's see what y'all did this week because y'all went in. Yo, OP, let me know. Am I at the right start? I think this is it. I think I'm goody. So let's see here. We got Gons. Gons is constantly in the chat. What up, Gons? Chilling. Um, All right. I got you, Michael Cooper. I got you. I don't think that's the... What's the first joint for this week? That's week three. Zoltan, week three. So I got to come down. Is this a beat right here? La Vida, something, something. Y'all let me know. Guys, let me know. I know you in here. Crazy Sketch is the first one. Crazy Sketch. Yo, Lil Dave, if you can do that, you the man. What up, fam? Good to see you in here. Crazy Sketch 85. How far up I got to go to find that one? These say week three. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Crazy sketch. I'm looking. Oh, boom. All right, so that is it. Okay, boom. Here we go. Let's start with crazy sketch 85. See what's up. 
Oh, he put his in SoundCloud. Oh, y'all slick with it now, huh? He caught that la la la. Let's get it. Woke up this morning, been in like a Spanish fly. Parties at eight, gonna make a fantasy. Took my sweet time, then got to the coop. Oh, you did a song. Is when it okay. Tequila with lines. Caught me off guard. I, honest to God, I was solid as a rock. Right. Looking so good, gonna make her my wife. Cause life's too short, gonna make a great time. She wants the eyes and I want the cherry pie. Like a tracks like, and I'm blinded by her life. I spit the game and she plays the game. Is that some live horns? And turns around the day. Yo. We hit the dance floor and back and forth we go. I grab her waist and she goes with the flow. I looked at her eyes and you know how it goes. We were hot like smoke, so I said let go. La vida es muy corta, tengo que disfrutarla porque tiempo. I like how you just use the la la's, yo. Hoy vas a ser mía y duro te lo doy. La aventura me llama y la cama me voy. Out of control and I'm on the road. I love the way she moves on that pole. The bomb was over, so I took her ass home. I said goodbye and she turns around and says, Yo, you got a whole joint, yo. Okay, okay, crazy sketch. Dope, dope. Who's up now? Who got next? Droggy Drog. Let's see where you at, yo. Woo. Man, y'all caught this, didn't y'all? Snare, y'all. And drums. Hey. I like how you caught that groove. I love that change up. Okay. Come on, y'all. Show some love in the chat. Where y'all at? Let's go. Some night you caught a nice little little part in there. All right, Scruff, what up? Let's see what Scruff talking about. Yes, yes. I like that stuff. Let that talking come in there. This is crazy. Super snappy. 
with a little singing under there. Come on, that takes you to the next level. That feels good. Let's go. cooking up some stuff. I love it. This That's part of the fun. I love getting to this part. Okay. Wow. Q-Bake, what up? Let's see what it is. Swing, right? The swing. Wow. Too little day. Yo, Trox is crazy, right? Yeah, this is a serious move. Yo, that was nasty. N A S dash capital T. I like that. I like that. Okay. Filth, what up? Phil said, yo, had the loop going, and this Ghostface song popped into his head. Aw, oh, shucks. All right, let's check this out. Yo, I like it. I like it. Y'all dudes are not playing around. Yo, it's the creativity for me, man. It's it's how creative y'all get with it, man. Um, yo, you said go, <laughs> go saved him a little bit. Hey, I feel you, but yo, that was crazy, man. It was very creative. How you? I don't know. How'd you even feel the ghost? How'd you even see that? Cause I never would have caught that. So, I think that's what it is, man. When you make, when you in the in the kitchen cooking up these beats, right? And and something inspires you or something hits you. I think that's what makes this so special. And that's why this what you know Serato Studio has going is incredible because it, it gives everybody a chance to express who they are. Even though we all using the same sample, none of them sound the same. They all have their own unique presence which you know speaks to 
you know, the art of hip hop. That's what hip hop is, man. You you take what it is and you add your own spin to it. So I love it. All right, let's get it. Anta architecture. I know I ain't say that right, but let's go. Oh, drum, drums, drum sequence. Love that. Yeah, that swing is a little ridiculous. Oh my. Yo, that's so nasty. swing you got on there is crazy. It's the, it's the drum pattern for me, man. That drum pattern is something special. Oh, man. That's how you felt, huh? All right. Uh, let's see. Last Call Productions. Let's see what it is. Let's go. <laughs> What up, Zoltan? Peace. Nah, you fucking head. Hey, he had Buster say, you better nod your head. Y'all better be nodding your head to this. Let's go. Good looking last call, appreciate it. Little West Coast vibe. Go. Woo. Woo. I like how you caught that melody right that. Boom, dun, 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 dun. Nice drum pattern too. I love how y'all put them sounds in there, man. Little sounds, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Trox, a lot of heat, man. These dudes been heat all month. They're gonna do the same for you, bruh. It's gonna be crazy. You ain't promised my nana in the right in Montana. Ha, <laughs> little pun for you. I love it, man. I love it. Y'all looking good. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this Gons, okay. I'm expecting nothing but greatness. Let's go. What up, last call? That was hot. stuff going on there, man. This is ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I like that breakdown. I like that breakdown. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you, you up rocking. Yeah. Popping and locking. The cut set it off, yo. The cut set it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Cuts really, really set that off. I love it. I love it. Banging. Oh, Michael Cooper. Let's get it. Who is this Michael Cecilio, man? <laughs> I love it. Woo. Drum track. Fire. Straight flame emoji. Go. What up, Hugo Ballet? What up? That's so nasty. Woo. You made a whole new rhythm out of that. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. Michael Cooper, you doing what you do? Go. Uh, a little James in there for good measure. Yo, Trox, you're going to have fun next, next month, yo. Uh. Woo! So much flames. So much flames. Yes, Trox. Woo! Can't wait to get in there on that. Right there. We gonna get it. All right, who we got? Who we got? Oh, astronaut. Word. Let's see what it is. And we got complex bases. Oh. Wow. You did not hit him with the go-go. No, you didn't. I love it. Let's go. Like I'm riding in the DMV. Oh, that's banging. The go-go beat alone, right? Ridiculous. Let's let's get it. Hey. Send in nothing but bangers. Trox, man. Trying to figure listen, Trox. Next week, next, next week, you going the problem is gonna be trying to figure out how to pick just one. Like that's the that's really the problem. Let's see what complex do, because this dude don't do nothing but hit either. Y'all know I like when y'all do that stuff. If it ain't gold, it's 
Ooh, the Watch Out Now remix. Say that again. Complex, this is crazy. Drum pattern, too, listen to that. caught that. Oh yeah, fresh as usual. Complex, flat, fresh as usual. Let's get it. Burnt CDs. Let's go. I'm going to burn a CD. This is so nasty. With the house joint, right, Zoltan? <laughs> That's fresh. CDs, fresh as usual. Wow. Yo, let's see what Arrowzilla got. Boom. Wow. What y'all think? Woo! I like how you playing with it. LFO is something special, ain't it? I like how this swing too. Oh, that bass? Listen to that. Think of burnt by hieroglyphics where the beat keep changing. You could put about five or six MCs on there. Right there, though. Right there, OP.
Yo, this is real nasty. A lot of change up. crazy you got a thousand change up there now i love it yo did little dave get his in here little diesel did you get it <laughs> i don't think he got it but that's all right that give me a couple seconds because boy this is a rough one this man listen i had a lot of favorites man the, the scruff uh q q bait Kubaki. i don't know what it is man i'm messing it up don't be too mad at me phil as usual you know what i'm saying uh uh Gons, Michael Cooper, that goes without saying. Like, I'm going to be looking for y'all's albums whenever they come in. I'm waiting on them. Let's go. Um, yo, Astronaut, Always Crazy, Complex. I Expect Nothing Less. You know, the, the Arrow, Erozilla, yo, that was nuts. You know what I'm saying? But my my two favorites, probably this this uh, this burnt CD situation. I'm going to burn a CD. Always creative as usual, right? But... <laughs> That house vibe. Listen to that that disco. Like he creates a whole vibe with it that is total opposite of the sample, and that's what I love. It's like a new vibe. That right there. I'm gonna burn a CD. <laughs> banging, banging, banging. And oh yeah, and Phil always, always, right? But this this anti-architecture though, this this right here, this was special. This was special. Listen, listen to that. This is that drum pattern. Hold up, man. I gotta bring it back. Did y'all hear that? Listen to this drum pattern. This what I'm talking about, y'all. So listen, anti-architecture, you are my winner for week four, yo, because this is ridiculous. Hey. <laughs> yo, let's go. Hey. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is the one that just kind of blew me away, y'all. And, and like I said, Trox, man, you in, you in for a world of hurt next week because these dudes don't give you nothing but heat, so you're going to have to deal with that. It ain't like there's some whack stuff up here on this Discord, you know what I'm saying? But you just got to find the one that fits you best, right? And this right here really spoke to me, yo. This is hot. Congratulations, bro. Banger. So listen, man. My name is Jay Rawls, man. I wanna, I just wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me. You know what I'm saying? I wanna thank y'all. You are now listening to the sounds. I wanna, sounds, I wanna appreciate sounds, sounds, everybody that's on here. I wanna thank Serato. I wanna thank Op Miller, Sonny James, Rhett Matic, the whole Serato staff. You know what I'm saying? I wanna thank. My man Don Weekly, he just put up in the chat. We are we are transmitting live from Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. Listen, y'all, that's such a big deal. Two years ago, the College of Education, Patton College of Education in Athens, Ohio, did not have a studio, and now we have a studio for our students so that we can actually incorporate the culture of hip hop and bring hip hop based education. You know what I'm saying? To, to your to your kids in the future, if you don't have any kids, if you got kids, yo, we not playing. Yo, so for those that don't know, my name is Jay Rawls. I'm an associate professor of instruction here at Ohio University. Thanks to Don. I appreciate you. 
Thanks to everybody that helped out. Thanks to everybody that tuned in. Yo, Serato Studio. Y'all winning. Y'all real creative. Y'all got the right people helping y'all out. O.P. Miller. Sonny James. Y'all got the right people. Matt Perry. Y'all smart, man. Don, take your bow again. Let him know. My brother Trox, man. Yo. Let's build, man. We'll talk later. But yo, you're going to have fun with this. Everybody here, man, all of y'all that participated, I want to thank y'all sincerely. I want to say peace. I want to say I appreciate you, you know, giving up your time, putting in your creati crea creativity and your creative juices. Yo, man, that's really it for now. Yo, my name is Jay Rawls. Follow me on Instagram at jrawls82. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll be broadcasting live from Ohio University on Twitch. I'll be doing some other stuff. Me and my brother DJ Rep Matic, we got an album coming out. Serato gonna help us push it. You know what I'm saying? That's in February. Who's on that album, you ask? Is that what you ask? Yo, Blue, Illa J, Frank Nick. Um, shoot, who else? Razzcast, Craig G. Yo, the list goes on, man. I want y'all to check it. I got a new single, DJ Center. On his label, Push the Fader, the single's called I Believe. We're going to go over to my brother DJ Center right now. He out on the patio playing some vibes. I want to thank everybody for being involved, man. Peace and blessings. My name is Jay Ross. Yo.